Welcome to Electra Online. And yes, our galaxy is not the only galaxy in the universe. As we know, there is hundreds of billions, at least 200 billion galaxies in our universe. But what about our own neighborhood? Do we have galaxies that are close by to our galaxy? And the answer is yes. We are actually part of what we call the local group of galaxies. They're all within about five, six million light years from us. Well, that's actually not a large distance as far as the universe is concerned, so that's why they call it the local group. Of those galaxies, there's about 50 or so galaxies in our own local group. Most of those, all but three of them, are small, either elliptical or irregular galaxies. And then there's three large galaxies in our local group. We're one of the large three galaxies. The largest of the three is M31, or the Andromeda Galaxy. We are the second largest, the Milky Way galaxy, and then M33 is the third largest of the three large galaxies. That's called the galaxy in Triangulum. Now, the other 50 or so galaxies, and we're not 100% sure exactly how many there are, because some of them are hard to see. They're on the other side of the galaxy, and we can't see through all the dust lanes and the, the, the obscuring uh, in, interacting gases that are blocking the light from those galaxies, but we're about... Uh, we've discovered roughly about 50 of those small, irregular, and elliptical galaxies. And of those, a number of them are rather close. The two that we're most familiar with are the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud. In order to see those, you have to be more or less on the southern hemisphere of the Earth because from our vantage point in North America, we cannot see those two small companion galaxies. It turns out that the Large Magellanic Cloud is about 162,000 light years from us and the Small Magellanic Cloud is about 210,000 light years from us. So they're relatively close. We have some other ones. We have the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, the Ursa Minor Dwarf, the Draco Dwarf Galaxy, the Sextans Dwarf Galaxy, the Carina Dwarf, the Fornax Dwarf, and the Sculptor Dwarf. And those form pretty well the set of small galaxies that are within one million light years from us and that are basically our neighbors. So you can see there's other galaxies rather close, but most of those are smaller type galaxies. They're much smaller than ours, only containing a number of few billions of stars rather than the uh, 250 billion stars or so that are within our own Milky Way galaxy. If you remember, our galaxy is about 100,000 light years across, so you can see that pretty soon when you get to some of our neighbors, you have to travel several hundred thousand light years to get there. And that is our neighborhood, the local group of galaxies. So how far is the Andromeda Galaxy? The Andromeda Galaxy is believed to be about two and a half million light years. Oh, it doesn't even fit on the board. So yes, it would be quite a distance away. It would be maybe at the very edge of the board if you want to place the, uh, the, large, the uh, Andromeda Galaxy. And then the M33 Galaxy, which is rather close to the Andromeda Galaxy. They're only about 600,000 light years or so apart. It's about 2.9 million light years from us to get to the the uh, M33, which is the galaxy in Triangulum, as they call it. Is there any forms of life in the other <laughs> ones? Is there any forms of life in any of those other galaxies? And of course, it turns out any star could have a planet like the Earth that could contain life. We haven't found it yet, but in any one of these galaxies, potentially, there could be life. Well, they found some terrestrial ones. Are they in any of those? So the terrestrial galaxies that we have found so far are right there. <laughs> a small little dot right there in our own little neighborhood of the galaxy. So we haven't really gone anywhere to the far reach of the galaxy to look for terrestrial type planets. They're all being within a few hundred light years from where we are. So yes, our search for extraterrestrial life is in our own little corner of the galaxy. There's, we haven't gone anywhere near there would be no way to figure out if there's life anywhere else. Not at this point yet. No, I mean, just you know, the, within the Goldilocks, so... We wouldn't be able to tell. So you're wondering, is there any other planets within the Goldilocks zone and any of the, the, the other galaxies? And we wouldn't even be able to tell. No, They're just no, too mean, far away. Our, ah, so in our own little neighborhood of the Milky Way galaxy, we have identified a couple of planets that potentially are Earth-like that could potentially be in the right zone that could 
right, that could potentially have life. So I believe we have found a couple. So we just need those really big telescopes to get a closer look. Which ones? The one that they're trying to build in Hawaii that is 